Hey everyone, welcome back to Restoring the Snyderverse. This is the web series where we follow all the updates that could affect the chances of restoring the Snyderverse. This is episode 3, and today we have two pieces of news. The first is regarding Ben Affleck's Batman, and the second is about what Zack Snyder had to say about what his plans were for Lex Luthor in Justice League 3. So without further ado, let's get on with the episode. So we start with Ben Affleck's Batman. Now we all know that he will be in the Flash film. However, that hasn't stopped fans from voicing their hopes to see Batfleck again in his own movie. On Monday, hashtag MakeTheBatfleckMovie was trending at almost 50,000 tweets, and this was without a trending day event. This was purely random and was just built by people agreeing that they wanted to see the Ben Affleck film. This is the power of demand. I know that I want to see a Batfleck film. No disrespect to Pattinson's Batman, which I do think looks great, but obviously Batfleck is a part of the Snyderverse and is my favorite Batman. So of course I would like to see a Batfleck film. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse was trending in some countries on the same day and the day after, which is also crazy as no trending day event had been planned or announced. I will at some point in the near future create a trending day event for hashtag restore the Snyderverse and will put it on my Instagram account at Zack Snyder's Justice League. Hopefully other accounts on Instagram and Twitter will share it around because the last time we had a trending day event we got over 260,000 tweets. So if we can get even more than that on the next trending day event we are going even further in the right direction. Hopefully just like last time Zack Snyder could post something on Vero that will help fuel the hype and the hashtag. Now on to the other piece of exciting news and that is from Zack Snyder via the Cultured Nerd. Zack was talking about Lex Luthor in the final battle of Justice League 3 and this is what he had to say. We talked about that he, in the final battle, he's the one that brings the nuke into Darkseid's spaceship and detonates it himself. It's kind of like he wasn't down with the concept of completely destroying mankind. He didn't realize that was the bet. So that kind of thing is something he would be capable of. He could go all the way. So in Justice League 3, Lex Luthor was going to sacrifice himself to save Earth by detonating a nuclear missile in Darkseid's spaceship. Wow, that is some redemption. And who would have thought that Lex Luthor was capable of that, especially when watching his character in Batman v Superman. This is the problem I have with people judging Snyder's DC films without watching them all. People were so quick to attack his films on the backlash of Batman v Superman without looking at the big picture, or at least waiting to see the whole story. I think that's why the Snyder Cut actually had a lot of people change their minds on Snyder's DC films. They had four, almost five years in between Batman v Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League, and also had a rip-off version of Justice League in between those. This allowed people to take a step back and think about how those characters in BVS had been redeemed. The whole point of BVS was to show the flaws in these characters. It was the criticism and death of Superman. It was the Batman realizing how dark he had become and how he had forgotten why he became Batman. He had broken his one rule of no killing and had no remorse for it. It was only when Superman died and sacrificed himself for Earth that he realized how wrong he was about Superman and mankind. Then the plan was to have Justice League one year later where Bruce would be redeemed and would bring the league together and bring Superman back to life. But obviously, that didn't happen in 2017, but it did in 2021. The plan then was to have Justice League 2 to be along the same lines of BVS, where the League is torn apart and Superman turns evil. And then yet again, by the end of the film, Bruce is the one who has to pull it back together again. And Justice League 3 will not only be Bruce's redemption story, but we also find out now that it was also Lex Luthor's redemption as well. So everything comes around full circle. That was the plan. And hopefully, 
If Warner Brothers Discovery hear our pleas for the Snyderverse to be restored, we can see that story realised in live action. Also, to those saying that Snyder is revealing so much about Justice League 2 and 3 that the Snyderverse must be dead, it isn't. Zack did the same thing for the Snyder Cut for about three years. He would reveal certain details and images from the film. This would build up speculation and hype for the Snyder Cut, which would then turn into hashtag release the Snyder Cut, which is how we got to see the Snyder Cut in the first place. So do not worry, the Snyderverse isn't dead. If it was, Snyder would have said that it's over, but he hasn't. He said that you never know with the Discovery merger. He's also been liking posts regarding restoring the Snyderverse, and he would only do so if there was a chance of it becoming a reality. So do not worry, we will keep on pushing until Zack tells us to stop, or hopefully the Snyderverse is restored. But that is all for today's episode. Yet again, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.